Hey everybody, hope you guys are all getting safe. You're watching footage shot with the 200 megapixel main camera of the Redmi Note 13 Pro Plus. This is not the standard model that I already covered like a month and a half ago. This is the special commemorative Xiaomi Fan Festival edition. So the Xiaomi Fan Festival, it's an annual event held on April 6th to celebrate Xiaomi's birthday. This year, Xiaomi turns 14. So this is a special commemorative device with a new back design. It has a mystic silver colorway, which is a piece of silver film covered with glass. And it has the Xiaomi Fan Festival logo engraved onto the back. So right now the phone is just completely handheld right now. It is on an extended selfie stick, but it is not a gimbal. So 200 megapixel camera allows you to digitally crop in quite a bit in videos and in photos. And it also has OIS, so stabilization is going to be pretty good. I'm going to put that to the test very soon. And by the way, I'm here at my friend's place because I'm cat sitting for her. For these two guys, we have this guy right here. And then we have this one, cheese ball. So let's zoom in. So this is 2.4x. So you see, because of all the pixels, you can zoom in and still get a pretty detailed shot, even though this phone does not have a dedicated zoom lens. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this phone outside downstairs and show you guys the neighborhood. And after that, I'm going to go to dinner with my parents at a beachside city called Cyclone. And then I'll see if I can document everything on this phone and also talk about, about the hardware, obviously. So my friend lives in an older apartment building without an elevator. That's how people in Hong Kong save money on rent. So walking down to be easy, but walking up, it's a workout, man. But right now, handheld holding the phone with one hand on the selfie stick. Main camera footage from the Redmi Note 13 Pro Plus 5G Xiaomi Fan Festival Edition. You also have an 8 megapixel ultra wide camera. That does a pretty solid job. You can see it gets a much more sweeping field of view, including all these uh, cute little Easter decorations right here. Still one hand handheld for now. So this area is super trendy, right outside you have a bunch of local eats and coffee shops. So this is a very cool coffee shop right here. By the way, I forgot to mention, this video is sponsored by Xiaomi, but they have given me complete freedom to say whatever I want. You'll see throughout the video, I'm still exactly myself. The video is exactly in the style that I always do. I, I didn't suddenly become a robot and be all like, hey guys, make sure you like and subscribe and smash that. You know, I'm not being all like generic like that. So let's take a look at the overall hardware. You have a 6.67 inch crystal res AMOLED display. 1.5K resolution, 1800 nits of max brightness. So it's bright enough that you can see outside even under direct sunlight. There's this new wallpaper that is exclusive to this unit that is designed to look like it goes with the back of the phone, the whole metallic vibe. The screen curves on the left and right side. I know not everybody in the West likes curved screens, but in Asia, curved screens are considered premium. They are panels usually reserved for flagships, not a mid-tier device. The overall in-hand feel is very comfortable and well-made. Like if I hand this phone to somebody who's like a casual fan or mobile, they would not be able to tell the difference between this guy and something that costs like 900 US dollars. Inside the MediaTek Dimensity 7200 Ultra chip, it's a four nanometer SOC. That's more than good enough to handle all your smartphone tasks. I did run some benchmark numbers here if you're interested. Personally, I don't really care about benchmarks that much. You have a 5,000 mAh battery that can be fast charged at 120 watt. The charger is included with the box along with a case and some stickers to celebrate the fan festival edition device. The 120 watt charger can top this phone up from 0 to 100 in 19 minutes. So this mystic silver colorway looks really good. It's glossy, reflective, but it does not attract fingerprints. It has a slightly grippy matte coating to it. And you see this is that Xiaomi Fan Festival logo. It's engraved onto the, the silver film underneath the glass using nanolithic technology. And you see that it reflects light differently than the rest of the back. You have an optical in-display fingerprint scanner here that's fast and accurate. IP68 water and dust resistance. So this is a phone that gives you specs and components that punch way above its price range. So this main camera, 200 megapixel sensor, f1.65 aperture. By default, it shoots 12.5 megapixel photos using a process known as pixel binning. So it uses 16 in one pixel binning, but you can shoot in full resolution 200 megapixel mode and you're gonna get a shot that's a hell lot more detailed. I mean, look at this. You can actually see all the words very clearly and even see this paper. It looks just like how the paper looks in real life. 
And you can see the texture of these paper that have been ripped up right here. So this 200 megapixel camera has a relatively fast f1.65 aperture and a 1 over 1.4 inch image sensor, which is not small. So combined, you get pretty nice shallow depth of field, natural bokeh. And like I said earlier, there's an 8 megapixel ultra wide camera that grabs a very sweeping field of view. For a phone at this price range, an 8 megapixel ultra wide camera, it's fine. I'm not going to nitpick too much. This third camera here is a 2 megapixel macro sensor. While it does work, I do think you can probably shoot macro shots with the ultra wide camera anyway. As I said earlier, this phone doesn't have a dedicated zoom lens, but with 200 megapixels to play with, you're able to get pretty clean 2x and 4x shots using digital zoom. You can even get all the way up to 10x, but at 10x, you do start seeing a little bit softer details and signs of digital processing. But this is still pretty good for a mid-range phone. But of course, when you move to the 4x and 2x shots, details are very sharp as if you have a dedicated zoom lens. Okay, we're here at a Cyclone Village. It's a village town by the water on the outskirts of Hong Kong. I'm here with my parents back there and we're gonna go meet my aunts for dinner. Chinese temple here and you're watching main camera footage right now. Look at their exposure. It's exposing the sky pretty nicely back down to the shadowed areas. Okay, I'm gonna test some photos here into the Chinese temple. I don't want to step into the temple so I'm just gonna use the 200 megapixel camera and try to grab some zoom lenses. 4x and then we'll do a 10x inside dark temple. And we'll grab a 200 megapixel shot too so we can see the details here. So this is a 200 megapixel photo and you can, you can crop so much more into the shot. Okay, and then we'll grab a selfie camera. All right, so Saikong is by the water and of course, whenever you're by the water, you can have great seafood. We'll test some shots here. This might be a little bit graphic for some of y'all, but look at this uh, squid. For zoom. We'll check out the dynamic range right here with the main camera. So right now you look at portrait mode, you can adjust the background blur right here. In terms of software, this one runs on Android 14, but it is not Hyper OS, it is MIUI. Look at the mountains up there. Yeah. So you're watching 3x zoom right now into the mountain still. Okay, it's starting to get dark. There's low light footage for now. By the way, battery life has been excellent. So I've been shooting continuously at this for the past three hours and only drained about like 25% battery. My family, we have decided to eat at a Thai restaurant of all places. But um, nighttime footage is looking good. Look at um, the video adjusting to exposure in real time. So I can go here a darker area and bring it to bright lights and adjust to the bright lights. But yeah, here's a Thai restaurant. All right, now you're watching ultra-wide camera footage. Ultra-wide camera footage. So I've been using the phone all day to film vlogs and I still have like 38% battery right now. That's really good. The media head dimensity 7200 ultimate chip seems quite efficient. And I ran some benchmark numbers here for those of you who are interested. I gotta be honest, I don't really care about benchmark numbers that much. This is the Victoria Harbor, Hong Kong Island size across. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the ferry, which is that little boat right there, and I'm gonna cross the harbor to go back to Hong Kong side where two cats are waiting for me to feed them. They're probably starving. I just got off the boat. As I was exiting the boat, I noticed that in the Redmi camera app, it's a mode called short film. It basically applies a vintage filter and it, it prompts you to film several clips in short bursts, like two second clips. And after that, 
the software will stitch together like a film that you can post on social media. The thing will walk up the audiences. After a long day of being out, and you're walking back up, it is quite difficult. Five floors. But the cats are probably waiting. Oh. oh yeah, they're here waiting. They want the food. Oh, I'll feed you guys. They are enjoying the dinner. So yeah, this is the Redmi Note 13 Pro Plus 5G Xiaomi Fan Festival Edition. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, Please subscribe to my channel, it will help me a lot and thank you to Xiaomi for sponsoring this video actually. Thanks for watching!